Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. So in this video, we're going to be talking about my most expensive mistake. And I'll also be showing you guys this new pack that I created. It's called Blood 64X. Basically, the whole pack is 64X and it's really nice for PvP in my opinion. Also, if you guys want to see more versions of this pack, then make sure to leave a like. Or try to hit 1000 likes on this video. I could, for example, make a green, a blue, a purple version of this pack. So yeah. Also guys, if you do want to learn how to make your own custom texture packs, there will be a link to my pack course in the description down below basically a lot of you guys request this pack course to be back online so i did using this product you can create your own fully custom texture box all the way from scratch literally every single step is included so there's 45 videos which you guys can check out literally every single step is included there's more than 45 videos so from how to use the program to actually like finishing the whole pack and yeah that being said let's show you guys the pack off a bit this is the bow the rod golden apple this is the pearl very nice and simple the tools, buckets. I will show you guys the particles real quick. They're also pretty nice and simple. Very, very smooth in my opinion. Nice little armor. Did some uh, different shading on this. With like the darkening on one side. This is the sword. Pretty nice. And the nice Kai, which is from the Viren 1.5k revamp by 5VF. So credits to him. Apart from that, let's try to go over 1,000 likes if you guys want to see more color versions of this pack. And yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Alright, so we just got into our first fight. So yeah, basically the story is about a car that I purchased about four weeks ago. Um, I was really excited. You know, it was my dream car. It's basically a Golf 7 uh, or Mark 7 GTI with like literally every single option or like, I guess, add-on that you could get from the factory. Um, I was in love with it. I, I really wanted this car for a long time and yeah, I, I was very happy that I finally found the car with all the options and all the things that I really wanted on this car. So basically I'm trying to keep a long story short because trust me, this is a very long story, but I'm, as I mentioned, I'm going to try to like keep it short. I guess we'll rematch that guy, FF1974. All right, we're fighting him again. So yeah, as I mentioned, I was very happy. I was very excited and the day has come. You know, I get to pick up my dream car because for me, even though it's just a Golf, um, it was my dream car because, you know, it was pretty fast. You had good gas mileage. It, had, it was pretty comfy actually. Like it has leather interior, like, you know, all that good stuff. Heated seats, I don't even know, panoramic sunroof. It was pretty cool. Um, I mean, it still is, <laughs> what am I saying? So yeah, the day has come and I bought the car from my private seller. You guys are really like, why would you buy a car like that from a private seller? Because it's a pretty expensive car. Basically, it's from 2013 and, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's cheap at all, you know? <laughs> because it's like a special edition of a Golf, you know, if you guys don't know, really know what cars are, uh, or like what brands and like models and all that. It's basically like a Golf, but then like, but then like on steroids, <laughs> you can look at it like that. So it was pretty expensive. I mean, I get, I don't know what, what's expensive because it's for, different for every person, but yeah, it wasn't cheap. So um, I got it pre-inspected at a local Volkswagen dealer. It was like certified Volkswagen dealer and all that. And basically I got it inspected and they missed a lot of things, which now results in me having to pay a big bill. They missed a lot of things on the inspection that were actually wrong with the car. And I bought the car with only two two small things that I had to like replace and like fix on my car, right? I was really happy. I'm like, okay, that's a pretty great deal for just like those two small things that I have to fix. I mean, no car is perfect. So it's not weird that you have to like fix something on a car for let's say, let's say a tire that has to be replaced or like, you know, brakes or like whatever it may be right like no no car is literally perfect the only car that's perfect is one from like the factory with zero kilometers so yeah but yeah long story short i bought the car and i drove away and the first 30 minutes i already got a motor management light turning on and an epc light and you guys are really like what is that i mean i don't even know myself because i'm not a car mechanic but it basically has to do something but it basically has to do something with your powertrain and your motor so i'm like okay oh well, i'm pretty screwed right so I messaged the uh, seller and he's like, oh, that's weird, that's strange. I mean, I guess he cannot really plan me to strength only like 30 minutes after I bought the car because I was just driving home for like an hour straight. So yeah, I mean, after 30 minutes, I already got those lights turned on and I was like, why? You know, that's, that's kind of strange. I just got to pre-inspect it. It's a pretty new car. It's from 2013. You know, it, it, the car looks fine. I got to pre-inspect it. Like, you know, what in the world could be wrong? They... 
they literally checked everything for like an hour straight. I'm like, okay, that, that's kind of strange. So I restarted the car and the lights went away. So I'm like, okay, well, that's, that's good. Maybe it was just a temporary thing. I don't know what it was really about, but it was gone, you know? So after like um, two days, my car actually like gave up on me. It was like humping around. It couldn't do anything anymore. And I don't know, it just wasn't drivable anymore. So I went to a garage and they fixed it for me. Well, little did I know a lot of other things that actually had to be fixed on this car. Um, because it broke down again and I got it fixed at another garage and basically, long story short, I am 2k into repairs right now. Uh, after only four weeks of owning the car, which he told me the car was perfect when I bought it. And I mean, I guess every scammer would say that, but I don't know if he's a scammer. I honestly don't know. He's a very nice guy. He was nice to me. He did like me a lot of favors, not price wise, but like I forgot my keys somewhere and he like drove 45 minutes for me to get my keys. Uh, as a seller, I don't even know why he did that for me. I guess he wanted his car to be sold, I guess, but I don't know. It was just nice for from him, you know, but let's say a guy like 20 years old comes to like buy a pretty expensive car. I mean, I'm surprised he even took me serious. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, little did I know I would get like kind of scammed or like, I don't know. I, I literally have no clue if he scammed me or not because as I mentioned, he cannot plan for me to like strand 30 minutes after I bought the car. So I literally do not know, but all I know is that I messaged him and he's like, yeah, that's, that sucks for you. I mean, what can I say? I, we got the car pre-inspected and everything was good, even though like the Volkswagen dealer made a bunch of mistakes by not looking at the mistakes the car had at that current moment because literally like 30 minutes after I already had like, you know, lights turned on and all that stuff. So that was really not the greatest time. Uh, I mean, I didn't even get mad. I don't know why. I'm, I'm just like, I was just relaxed and I'm like, you know, we will get it fixed. It's just like a materialistic thing, you know, you can always get it fixed. So yeah, long story short, bought a pretty expensive car and uh, I lost a bunch of money on it. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, I tried to keep this short because trust me, it's a pretty long story. And I told you guys like half of the things that actually happened, but yeah, that's pretty much the long story short. I bought the car, got it pre-inspected, everything was good. And then it ended up not being good. I'm like, why? Why is it not good, you know? We got it pre-inspected, the owner, the seller told me everything was good and uh, yeah. So what really is my mistake here? Well, my mistake is that I shouldn't have bought an expensive car like this from a private seller, even though I trusted him and got it pre-inspected. You should just buy an expensive car or like, you know, just any car that you put in a lot of money in for a European. Um, just get it at a dealer with um, warranty. So like secondhand warranty on your car. So you at least can return to the shop if anything is wrong or, you know, let's say it's a six month warranty. That's pretty handy because that would have uh, saved me a lot of money. That's for sure. But yeah, hopefully the car is gonna be picked up tomorrow again um, because that's probably when it's gonna be fixed. Might even be first day, but I have no clue. But yeah, that's basically the story and uh, let me guys know what you guys think about this topic. I mean, uh, it's a pretty sad topic. I was really excited to buy that car and I just got like, I, I wouldn't say scam, but I got like rigged, you know, I don't know. I was just very unlucky and uh, I don't know what actually was the case. I don't know if he scammed me. I don't know if I was just unlucky, but yeah. Only he knows, I guess. So basically my schedule right now is that I'm working full time at a company five days a week and eight hours a day. Then I'm doing YouTube when I get back from uh, from work. And then I'm also like a taxi driver during the weekend. So I'm pretty busy right now. So I, hopefully I'm not sounding too tired in this video. And hopefully the commentary is good because I'm trying my best here. Let me know what your thoughts are in this video. And be sure to smash on a like. Let's try to go for 1000 likes on this video. And that being said, peace out guys.